Ah, it's you. Ah, perfect timing. Katsu says dinner is on him. He wants to thank us for all the work we've done. And to be honest, I still have a lot of questions for him. Well, care to join us? Excellent. Let's be on our way then. Ah, you're here. So, where are we off to, Katsu? I'm looking forward to this. I'm afraid my invitation was merely a pretext to ask another favor of you. Mind if we discuss the matter over our meal? Thanks. You can be sure I'll pay you back for this. Everyone good with my usual haunt? Busy as we've been, I haven't eaten there in a while. At long last, the Shogunate fleet's taking shape. Even the crew's beginning to look the part. The hardest part's yet to come, though. And I'll be counting on your help in the days ahead. There's no shortage of those who say the Shogunate can't be trusted. Hence all these divine punishments. Have you heard? People are taking it upon themselves to punish those who deal with foreigners. <laughs> Damn fools. They ought to try sinking the black ships that started it all. Yoma. What are... What are you doing here? He's all? Huh. I didn't realize you were on duty today. Hmm? <laughs> By your confusion, I'll take it you're out of the loop. On Ryoma's recommendation, I have hired Izo as my bodyguard. Speaking of which, where the hell have you been? Well, now that you're here, you can come along for a meal with us. Well, what do you think, Izo? Katsu has real vision, doesn't he? Bet he taught you a thing or two. Ah, uh, indeed. He's a great man. You know... He didn't come from money, I had no pedigree, but you'd be hard pressed to find anyone with a mind as shrewd or judgment as keen. And yet he treats everyone as his equal, even the lowly people like me. I can't help but feel that if he were to take the reins, the Shogunate would regain his former glory. Have you lost your mind? Yoma, <laughs> you must help me. Cut the master. Must be right now. Why are you doing this, Izo? I thought getting to know Katsu would finally open your eyes! If you're to get me, I'll kill you too! Know that you ain't in our country, it's a bring down the Shogunate! Your magic will get us nowhere! It's a waste of time! My way is the only way! You've taken Master Shoin's legacy and trampled all over it! You'd better pray we don't meet again. Showing it, dogs. There he goes. Ryoma, for better or worse, Izo sees things in black and white. He's beyond my help. He's convinced that because some officials are responsible for the people's suffering, simply killing the right men in power will fix everything. So, nothing's changed since we were in Yokohama. I had a feeling Izo was going to turn on me before long. I had thought Ryoma was the only one who could reach him. I didn't think I had much of a choice. 
I mean, I'm not planning on dying just yet. Sorry, let's do dinner another day. And I really am going to make this up to you. Izo's got Master Shoin's teachings all wrong. I thought maybe if he talked to Katsu, he'd quickly realize his mistake. Talking to you always makes me feel better. But I just can't look the other way. It's clear we have to do something about Izo. Far too much blood will be spilled if we leave him be. Hey, how have you been? Looking for me? Good day. I did a fine job of embarrassing myself last time, didn't I? I've intensified my training regimen now. I won't lose next time. Sana's always been like that when it comes to swordsmanship. She gets so engrossed in practicing, she's up all hours, missing meals, the whole hog. I take my training seriously. What's wrong with that? If I want to wed Yoma one day, I'll need to do my utmost in preparation. She's not one to back down from her words either. I'm just worried she'll hurt herself one day, working so hard. I don't quite follow. What is it you think I should do? Yo Yoshimura? Uh, I suppose the geisha are rich in experience. Perhaps I could gain some insight into the walkings of dear Ryoma's heart. Please! You have to take me to Yoshiwara! I need to speak to someone vast in romance! I'm unsure how I feel about my darling niece being taken to Yoshiwara. 
but perhaps it's an opportunity for her to see the world a little. Yes! Now I have my uncle's blessing. You'll really take me to Yoshiwara, won't you? Thank you! Then we can meet once we're both ready. Ryoma. Lady Sana, I, I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> what a surprise. Considering you haven't come to visit since last time, I'd assumed you were busy. But you were carrying on with someone else. Would you care to explain yourself? Hey! What on earth is going on? Why is Lady Sana here in Yoshiwara? supposed to mean do you mean to say you didn't know Ryoma had been frequenting this place uh, at any rate I, I should be leaving uh, see you later We haven't seen each other in so long. Would you please refrain from further censure of that gentleman? I merely asked him to help me find my cats. Your cats? Uh, oh, is that all? Silly me, <laughs> jumping to conclusions. In that case, why don't I take Ryoma's place in finding your pets for you? In exchange, will you instruct me in the ways of romance? Oh, if you are looking for advice on love, I would be delighted to help. Well then, just bring me all the cats in Yoshiwara. I eagerly await your return. All right, let's be nice and quick about this. Between the two of us, it shouldn't take long. Let's be on our way then. How adorable. <laughs> but one day, it'll up and disappear. And completely forget where it came from. Just... like Dioma.
feel as though Dioma has matured. Not only in his appearance, but in deeper ways too. When we used to train together, I was drawn to his honest gaze. But that gaze is set far away now. Far, far away from me. <sighs> Come, let's head back to Miss Isigumo. <laughs> you brutes! <laughs> I won't let you harm a hair on me. Is it true of your business? Thank you very much. Not only did you find my cat, but you helped me. Even though you are but guests. The previous visitor's deeds betray that he has fallen for my charms. However, I remain my own person. My affections cannot be compelled. In your case, if it pains you to be apart from the one you love, you must develop the courage to let go from time to time. But I get so worried. Dioma lives his life as free as the wind. If I were to let go, I don't think he'd ever come back.
All right, this isn't the time for smooth talk. This is a difficult topic. I've always dreamed of marrying Ryoma and living as his wife. But I fear he dreams of other things entirely. Perhaps trying to prove to him how much I'd grown was all to avoid acknowledging the ways in which Ryoma himself had grown. No more cowardly conduct. No more fear of change. I have to face him for who he is right now. <laughs> what a fine expression you wear. I look forward to seeing what becomes of you both when fate has taken its course. I trust you are keeping well. I would like you to have this. I pray it be of some use. How may I assist you? Very well. Hmm. Do you remember the poem I shared with you? The one my name was derived from? The wisps of cloud that linger over peaks lit by sunset's glow are identical in shade to the sleeves of my morning robes. Do you remember what you said the first time I recited it to you? <laughs> that was it. I am glad you remember. In the poem, Genji is mourning the loss of his first love. Gazing at the clouds in the evening sky, he finds their color resembles the clothes he wears in his grief. The color of mourning. The color of ephemeral life. It really is a terribly sad poem, isn't it? But you know, I think it suits someone like me. Someone who could disappear at any moment. You know, it is said that the soul of a woman who disappears from the pleasure district roams the world forevermore in the body of a cat. That shall be me one day. Knowing your skill at such things, I am sure you would. To be honest, if I could, I would never leave your side. Of course, I know that to be impossible. So, perhaps I really should become a cat. That way, I could snuggle up to the one I love. <laughs> Parting the morning after one has made love. Oh, be sure to come back to me. Else, hmm, I might turn into a cat.
Over here. Oh, it's you. I understand you work for Katsu now. That being the case, there's a duty I would have you perform. <laughs> I was the wife of the previous shogun, you know. There's no hiding such things from me. Ah, but I speak in jest. Katsu serves the shogunate. It stands to reason I have dealings with them. The duty in question is the protection of the shogunate vassals. Following the purge, resentment towards the shogunate has continued to grow. And of late, I've been feeling uneasy. Without definite proof of a threat, however, I can't set people to work. Thus, I would turn to you for help. If you have any other questions, I'd be glad to answer them. I wish I did, but I can't say anything for certain. I'd be happy if it turns out it was all in my mind. So, will you do it? Will you protect the retainers? Wonderful. I can see why Katsu places his trust in you. If something were to happen, it would be after everyone has left the castle. You may stand by in the area till then. feel uneasy. Katsu's escort has not returned. Indeed. I'm depending on you. We can't afford to lose Katsu. Not now of all times. I will come with you. Whatever is happening, I wish to see it with my own eyes. If it's dangerous, then I trust you to protect me. I have made my decision. Let's be on our way. But my dress is not suited for the rains. I'm afraid you'll have to give me a lift. Let's go. The last time I rode like this, I must have been with my stepfather. at the fireworks display on the Sumida River. He ought to have been more careful. He is a true patriot, you know. We must protect such people at all costs. Ah, 
I figured there'd be bandits along the way. For a moment there. Sorry for the hassle. You. You're from Satsuma, aren't you? What if I am? Well, well. This is quite the predicament. If she were to find out about this... It seems the situation is under control. I'm glad both you and Takashi are safe. As for the villain... What? Nakamura? Oh, princess, what are you doing here? I should ask you that. With Lord E's death, Satsuma should have made peace with the Shogunate. Yet, here you are making trouble. With all due respect, I think that's a mistake. The Shogunate should not have opened up Japan. It isn't fit to rule. Mr. Saigo would surely say the same. Imbecile! The Saigo I knew would never think of doing something so foolish as attacking Katsu. I won't listen to any more of this nonsense. You'll be dealt with later. Now be gone from my sight! Forgive me. It's just... I wasn't expecting to see a familiar face. <sighs> of late, I had been feeling that something was amiss at the residence. In hindsight, that must have been the source of my unease. The blame for this incident lies with the Satsuma. We've caused a great deal of trouble. And for that, I apologize. Indeed. I, too, enjoyed riding with you. I look forward to the opportunity to share a horse again. So, as to what happens next? It'd cause complications with the Satsuma if we punished Nakamura. I believe it'd be best to simply pretend none of this happened. As you say, my thanks. Katsu, I must thank you as well. Your service will not go unrewarded.
Lend me a hand, will you? Sorry for stopping you like that. I promise it's for a good reason. You see, there is this local herbalist who wants to turn himself into a mummy. And he'd like someone to gather materials in his stead. What do you say? A simple job for a mighty warrior like yourself, no? <laughs> I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? The name's Yoshizo Sudo. I'm just your average informed citizen. I love to write down whatever I see and hear. Perhaps you've heard of me? I've got a book series out called the Fujiokaya Diary. <laughs> In any case, there is all sorts of things required for mummification. Think you can get them for my herbalist friend? <laughs> It's funny, <laughs> but he said something about wanting to prove his research. <laughs> he certainly is an odd fellow, that one. Oh, wonderful! I knew you'd be willing to help. It's like they say, you can always rely on the kindness of strangers. And before I forget, I've written down the materials here on this paper. In the meantime, I'll ask the herbalist for more details. Thank you! I deal in rare goods, you see? And those guys nearly robbed me of all my stock! But you saved my life, so please take anything you want! 
Well, maybe not take, but I'm sure I have something you'll want. What will it be? Is there anything else? Please come again. Sure hope you said your prayers. Where there is life, there is hope, huh? You really came in the nick of time. But what rotten luck, huh? How are getting jumped like that? Who knows? My harbourlist friends never seen them either. They must have mistaken us for somebody else. In any case, I knew that you were strong. <laughs> But you've surpassed my expectations. Clearly, my eyes did not deceive me. 
But where are my manners? <laughs> this is my herbalist friend I was telling you about. Did you bring me the persimmons and salt I asked for? Thank you. I know it's not much, but please accept this as payment. Persimmon seeds actually help to prevent flesh from rotting, you see. I guess I will soon be proof of that. Indeed. Which reminds me, Sudo, you may write about it in your diary. And tell your future readers to dig me up someday. Certainly, certainly. <laughs> I'll definitely include that. And let me thank you also for your hard work. As bread always falls butter side down, you can be sure we'll meet again. Hey, how have you been? Are you faring well? And what might that be? A fine question. Well, when it comes to the sword, simply lunging about without thought won't get you anywhere. First comes theory. You must learn what a technique is for and why it was created. Building that foundation is important. If you'd like me to instruct you, then very well. My victory is assured! Shame of it. 
As I hoped, you have a firm handle on your techniques. You there. Have a minute? I'm sorry for bothering you, but I have a favor to ask. Won't you hear me out? I'm an instructor at another dojo, you see. And the other day, I saw one of my students cut down a stranger on the street. I confronted him and tried to mete out his punishment, but I couldn't bring myself to finish it, and he escaped. If I face my student again, I fear I'll hesitate again. I can't trust myself to stop him. Please, won't you do it in my stead? Thank you. My student has gotten a taste for blood and will keep on killing. We have no choice but to put him to death. Wait, don't kill me. My master asked you to come, didn't he? If only you'd seen how he laughed as he killed other senior disciples. He must know that I saw him. And now he intends to kill me too. But I cannot die until I have avenged my brothers!
You're back! Safe and sound! You've done it then. Tended to my student. What are you talking about? Did you deal with my student or didn't you? So you did! So you did! Do you have proof of the deed? By any chance? It would set my mind at ease if there was something I could see. Now, now, you mustn't lie. The man has a dagger that he never parts with. If you don't have it, it means he's still alive. Fine. I'll just kill him myself. It's more enjoyable that way, and I'll become stronger for it. But first things first, I'll amuse myself by killing you. You know too much to be what you live. <laughs> Over here! Over here! Hey, you're Roni, right? How would you like to do some work for me? It's nothing difficult. Just a little errand, really. You see, there's a rumor that the folk around here are being spirited away by the gods. While I've never been one to believe in such mystical happenings, the fact is a number of people have gone missing. My hunch tells me something is suspicious with a nearby village. What I want you to do is go there and investigate. Oh, I have. And too many times judging by the sidelong looks the villagers give me. I need someone new who won't draw their attention. If I went to my superiors, they'd only tell me to get hard evidence. I have to find a lead first, anything at all. For a Ronin, you're pretty easy to deal with. You can rest assured I'll make it worth your trouble. Now then, the village in question lies that way. Find out whatever you can about the disappearances. I'm counting on you.
What did you do with the fellow from the other day? Oh, you know. Put them in the temple storehouse. <laughs> You've seen too much. I can't let you leave! How did things go in the village? You 
you can take photographs? I'm impressed. With this, even the commissioner would be compelled to get off his rear. I thought something was amiss, but to think that the whole village was involved. One wrong step, and I might have been spirited away myself. Well, now that the mystery is solved, we can lay the victims to rest. I'm sorry I looked down on you for being a ronin at first. Indeed, I'm glad I asked you for help. Thanks for everything.